what we're gonna do is just to call attention to a couple of different things down here um, again you're using the practice sheet that I've um, provided for you so your sheet should look like mine and what we're gonna do to start with is we're going to we don't need sheet one so if you go down here I just wanted to show you that you can add remove different sheets so we don't need sheet one if you click on core four you'll see that if I go through you've got a couple of different classes this actually came from a response spreadsheet so um, hopefully if you haven't already take my Google Forms um, class virtual course because I, I think once you understand Google Forms you have to know Google Sheets they kind of go hand in hand and in fact I started playing around with Google Forms first before I really dove into Google Sheets so if you're taking this course without doing the other one when you have time I would really recommend doing the other course because I think um, that will just kind of blow your mind so um, this actually came from a Google Forms response spreadsheet and you'll notice I have a couple of different um, periods or cores here and so to start with we don't need a uh, sheet number one so I'm gonna click this drop down arrow and that's just gonna show you the menu that you have when working in with the different sheets and I'm just gonna go ahead and click delete I don't need it yes I'm sure delete it um, what I am going to do however I'm going to show you a couple of different steps um, just to make sure that we kind of cover all of our bases so the first thing we could do is we could make a copy of this sheet so go ahead and click that down um, down arrow to open up the menu and let's go ahead and say duplicate so we've now got a copy of the first sheet and it says copy of core 4 what we're going to do is double click on that and we're going to change the name from core 4 to core 5 and what we're going to do then is um, we're going to go back to core 4 sheet and we're going to go ahead and delete rows 32 through 64. So go ahead and highlight those. So that's core five, period five. We don't need them. We're going to highlight those and we're going to say delete rows 32 through 64. We're going to leave um, this period six so that I can show you another maneuver. So just leave that there, but we deleted that. And we're going to move over to core five and do the same thing, but we're going to remove core four. So go ahead and delete two through 31. And then this is core five. So let's go ahead and delete the period six option as well. So go ahead and delete that. So now you have a core four sheet and a core five sheet. We still need a core six. So you could, um, you could duplicate this again and just delete core six on the next sheet, or you know what I'm saying. But I wanted to show you this additional maneuver. That's what I'm calling it. We're going to say that. So the other thing that you could do here is highlight these um, core six and then copy. And... Now I can go ahead and delete them, delete rows 32 through 67. So now I do truly have a core, core four um, only. And I have a core five, so I wanna create a new sheet. So this is, the maneuver here is just that I wanted to make sure you knew you can add blank sheets instead of hitting the duplicate button. So I'm gonna hit duplicate. And this is actually going to be core six. So I'm gonna hit core six. And now it's out of order which if you're OCD at all, this is going to drive you nuts. So all you have to do, just like with columns and rows, is you just have to drag and drop to maneuver or to change and to click back and forth between all of them. So course six has nothing on it. We need to drop in that content. So I'm just going to paste all of period six. But here's your issue now. You do not have your titles. So let's go up to core or row one on the core four page come back to core six. We don't have a space because we put that at the top layer, but if we highlight the row and we right click and we say insert one above, now we can paste that in and now we have our headers. So um, moving between multiple sheets, obviously now that you've created this, there's still more manipulation you can practice and do here. Like for example, um, I could freeze this row for my headers 
I now know how to make my headers nice and big if I wanted to. Um, let's say I want them all in a dark gray. Let's say I need to be able to read them. Like, what is today's task? What are my next steps? These are not wrapped, right? Like these are just, th these are all things that we've recently discovered together, right? We don't need all of these, so we could highlight all of these columns and delete them. You can always add more columns later, but it does make a nicer screen in terms of like grading things. Um, this was just an exit ticket that I asked my students in case you were wondering. <laughs> They're like, I'm looking at this. I'm like, read the fucking Illuminati. What is happening? Um, so this is um, about genius hour. So this was from a couple of years ago where the kids were largely working on their own, were self-driven, and I needed to check in with them on how they were doing on their current task and what they needed to do next and what they needed my help with. So there's a couple of ideas. Um, and, and then when you move over and you look at core five, core six, you still need to do the kind of same similar formatting. But this is referencing back to a previous um, a video where I was talking about dashboards. So this is a lot of stuff that I was using um, within the classroom so that I had one place to go to to gather all of my information so that when I needed to go in and confer with students, I had one place to really quickly do a double check and kind of triage who needed my help and who didn't. And again, I think as a secondary teacher where you have so many kids to work with, this really helps um, with your efficiency on knowing who to help and when, when not to. Um, so I think that that was largely everything that I wanted to show you. You can delete specific sheets. You can move, toggle back and forth, duplicate sheets, create new sheets. Um, another just quick tip for planning, there's some great templates out there for calendars. Um, that I have used as like lesson planners or just, um, you know, just calendars in general to help me plan out different things. Um, and they come with multiple sheets, right? Because you have one sheet for each uh, month of the year. So um, that's where I really started to kind of dive deeper into multiple sheets categories beyond just using like dashboards. So take a look at some of those templates because I do think that they can be really helpful. Mm -hmm.